Well, my good friends, what have I got in store for you today? Well, believe it or not, I'm at Gunwharf Keys in Portsmouth because today I decided I fancy going to the Isle of Wight. I'm going to grab myself a private boat from Gunwharf Keys. I've got my little safety jacket on for the boat and the rest, I haven't got a clue. Keep watching. We all have busy lifestyles and sometimes it's great to just get away, even if it is only for the day. That's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm heading down towards Portsmouth, Gunwharf Keys to be precise, where I'm going to grab a powerboat and head over to the Isle of Wight for a spot of lunch. Nice for living. There you go, Spinnaker Tower in its full glory here at Gunwolf Keys. Goodbye, Gunwolf Keys. Goodbye, Portsmouth. And we're off to the Isle of Wight on this uh, little rocket boat. We are, you're it's not all interesting. Done. Good stuff. Leaving the harbour, Portsmouth Harbour. I don't know if this thing's going to make it to the Isle of Wight. It's been over 20 years since I visited this beautiful island and today we are landing in Cowes on the north side of the island. Like most places, during the winter months, Cowes is a laid back, quiet little seaport town with not really a lot going on. Come the beginning of August, this little island comes alive, mainly with the yachting community. Cow's Week is a famous sailing regatta with not only the locals participating but people travelling from all around the world to take part in this amazing event. This island is not only famous amongst the sailing community but during the summer it also puts on speedboat racing, round the island boat racing, loads of food festivals and music festivals, the Isle of Wight festival being the most prominent. Well, we've had a little chat amongst ourselves and come to a unanimous decision that we're actually going to get the ferry back, if you don't mind, mate. <laughs> there you have it. I am on the Isle of Wight. I'm not having a bad hair day. Uh, that's what it's like on a speedboat. Oh, my God. What a fantastic little ride that was. Really excited. Back there paying 50p for the Dodgem cars, I'll tell you. Although very quiet now, during the summer months, Cowes comes alive and is buzzing with all its sailing and yachting events and is also a very popular destination amongst the royals. 
In 1845, Queen Victoria and Prince Albert bought the Osborne estate on the Isle of Wight, which they made their home and entertained foreign royalty and visiting ministers for over 50 years. On 22nd of January 1901, after a reign which lasted almost 64 years, Queen Victoria sadly passed away at her home, Osborne House on the Isle of Wight. Well, I've decided to eat in the coast, which is behind me. Unfortunately, I can't film in there because there's too many people in there. It's a bit busy and people get a bit funny when you start filming in a restaurant. No, why? It's just the way it is. But as I'm on the Isle of Wight, I have yet again ordered fish and chips. And this time I'm getting a bit of cod and chips. And uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what this is like. It should be brilliant because I'm on the Isle of Wight, I'm on the coast, and it's tried British. Let's check this out. Tartar sauce, crispy looking cod. Fantastic. Arsenic sauce about to be served. Thank you, darling. There you go. Enjoy. 50 bags. Seven in a bag. Can the boy go boy eat his dinner? That's it, there you have it. Lunch on the Isle of Wight. I had cod and chips, thoroughly enjoyed it. And I'm gonna say something about eating out and food later on in this video, not right now, but later on, because I have got my own point of view on it. And uh, I had fish and chips, cod and chips, and thoroughly enjoyed it. Moving on, Grace. Right, well, I've had lunch on the Isle of Wight and it's time to head back to Portsmouth. So waiting for my private little speedboat to arrive. Another herring, hair raising moment in store. And uh, yeah, looking forward to this one. Here we go again. Happy days. Going back to what I was saying earlier on about food. Now I've just had cod and chips. And to be honest with you, it wasn't the best cod chips I've ever had in my life, but I still thoroughly enjoyed it. And the main reason I enjoyed it is because a, the company I was with, B, the restaurant, C, I'm on the Isle of Wight, all these different things. The service was good, the restaurant was clean, the price wasn't too bad. And as I say, all these things helped make that meal what it was. And so my point is, it's not just always about the food. Well, totally soaked off that little ride, but back on dry land, so to say, and thoroughly enjoyed that. Thanks, Kevin. I wasn't talking to myself, the captain's name was actually Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> 